What the fuck is up, everybody? Welcome to The Fuckery with Leslie Jones and Lenny Marcus. I'm Lenny Marcus. And I'm Lele Jones. And this is the podcast where the mission is to keep it 100 at all times. We talk about the fuckery going on in the world and in our lives, and we have a whole lot of fun doing it. Today in studio, we have an amazing stand-up comedian, writer, and actor, Fortune Feimster is joining us. We play a fun game, and we'll end, of course, with the fuckery of the week. But first, what the fuck is up, Leslie? Uh, I, it's kind of hard to say because... We are yeah, the you same don't know what day, day it is. We, we went to the Lakers. Ga- you went to the Lakers game. Oh, so we doing? Sucked. I can do that. I can do that part. Oh, so I can. Yeah. I don't have to be in the future. Yes, no. I went to the Lakers game. And yes, listen, listen, because I I love the tickets that they give me. So I don't want to. I don't want to fucking dog them the fuck out. But <laughs> they suck. I'll say it. They fuck you, Lakers. Fucking, <laughs> it's pissing me off. You got LeBron and, see, and a bunch of crap. No, but I'm saying Russell got his powers back, and it, yeah. it's just like they suck. A- they have no defense. I don't understand what LA's problem is with fucking defense. You cannot keep coming down the court and fucking scoring and They're not old. stop them on the others. They're, yeah, then get your... I swear, Lenny, I wanted to run on the court. Every time Anthony Davis fucking dropped the ball, I wanted to run on the fucking court and punch him in the fucking face. Like, this is how you get a fucking rebound, motherfucker! You butterfinger-ass motherfucker! You too big to beat this fucking... What the fuck? And I, every time he fell down, I was like, oh, God, he's going to get injured. Because the motherfucker's yep. built out of paper. Paper mache. He not even, it's not even yep. paper. It's paper mache. That shit cracks as soon as anything <laughs> hard hits it. He's like a fucking pinata. <laughs> and you hit that motherfucker, only thing come out is uh, money. Yep. That's true. Those I'm guys make sick a ton of, it. of dough. I'm sick and of they it. They are terrible. I am sick of it. Do you understand? I I I want to like my home team, but if you fucking suck, like I like the Knicks just because the Knicks got swag. But they sucked, too, and I stuck with them. And I'm going to stick yep. with you, Lakers. But you motherfuckers, man, y'all better turn back into Showtime. Fuck this shit. Who was, who was the guy that the Lakers traded to the Jazz mm. when you saw him? And I forgot the kid's name. His uh, name Thornton. is Thornton. And let yeah, me yeah. tell you something, Thornton. I ain't have shit to do with that trade. I ain't have shit to do with that <laughs> trade, Jordan. No, Thornton. He, he, and he was giving it to us like he was turning us over, bending us over, like, yeah, motherfucker, I know this court. Like, I'm talking about he was making shots that I was like, God damn it, Thornton, don't bring your motherfucking ass in here with that shit. And let me tell you something about white boys and their fucking ugly ass shot. You Utah ass bitch ass. First of all, these some big ass white boys. They eat all their tater tots. Them some big, big ass white boys. <laughs> and, you know, the big white boys always have the worst fucking jump shot and it goes in they whole body be crooked up and that shit be flat as fucking that shit goes in every time fuck you motherfuckers ugh Taylin Horton Tucker he used to play for oh my god when I say now he's lighting all the up with the jazz lighting our ass up so I went to this fucking game and uh I thought we was gonna win and we did not and I just yelled. I yelled a lot. But I am really famous. Do you know how f- I'm, like, famous? And it's weird because <laughs> it's weird that the people who recognized me because I was getting gas. And yep. I didn't even think this type, this person would. He was like, are you Leslie Jones? And I'm like, full name and everything. I was like, yeah. And then he goes, oh, I fucking love you. And then there's this old white woman getting into her car. And she goes, me too. So I'm just like. <laughs> That's fucking way out. <laughs> way the what? fuck out. What? You cross over. It's way this is our audience. It's what way do you think out. listens to the show? We listen, need everybody. Listen, yep. it's just way out. It's way out. That's all I can tell you. But um, I got my, I talked you out of getting the booster, right? Mm-hmm. That was a good move because let me tell you something. I got it Sunday. I was out yesterday. Boom. Out cold all day. Like I did sleep? it for sleep. I couldn't take it anymore. I was in pain when I woke up. I mean, I was the thing worked out fine. It was just it just knocked me dead. I got up, my shoulder was hurting. Shit. Um 
I did your, yeah, it's a day. You know what I mean? Fuck. Well, a, I'm getting the booster good... and I'm getting the flu shot. At once. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I get a priest involved? With I this? don't Cause, fucking know because that's scary to me now. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared because Two I don't one. like pain. I mean, well, I mean, it was, pain. you know, it was that ache. It was yeah, that ache. You no. could take, but then I was just out. But like, you remember, I okay, like when I got my boosters, minutes. I was actually okay. I just, out. I just was sleeping, right? You slept. Well, yeah, I, I, that's, but that's why I'm again. getting it Thursday, and I have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off. All right, we don't fly in. We don't fly until Sunday afternoon. Okay, so I should be okay, fine, good. right? Yeah. Jesus I Christ, I don't want to be in pain. You better be right. You better be good because you'll. Oof. Yeah, because oh my right. god, this season's gonna be so good. I just finished the scripts for, and it's so funny. <laughs> It is. Oh, I can't wait. It's so, You're so good. good at it. It's Please so have a good. great time. Man. Oh my God. I'm actually excited because you know Dennis is gonna be with me and so is yep. Jay and so is Ty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm really looking forward to it, but not looking forward to it at the same time. Oh, it's you're gonna have a blast. This is gonna be like a mini vacation slash work vacation. This is gonna be great. And and so as you know, we'll get to this in a second. I was on set with Ronnie Chang, and Ronnie Chang said, if you want, he'll give he'll hook you up out there with a comedy club. Is it in Auckland? It depends where you are. There's a couple, depending on where you are, there's some comedy clubs close what? and he will hook you up. Yeah, he said he used to travel there from like Australia. He would go on tour. That's like a mini tour. They go to like, you know, Australia, Malaysia, you know, and then New Zealand. So Auckland has possible, depending on where you are, he might, there might be a close by comedy club. But do you think that they know me in New Zealand? Who gives a shit? Go up and do time. Yeah, I'm sure they've heard of you. They love everything Americans everywhere. Okay, which one? Which one is is it? Australia, or New Zealand is the one that had the real thing on COVID. Like they were so good at. Was it New Zealand or uh, New Zealand? Yeah, they won't let anybody. I want to. I actually want. I want to go there to see how people live because they did it right. All right, I will ask. Let's yeah, see, I, I tell like tell Ronnie. I'll find out where we at. Speaking of which, Ronnie Chang. Let yes, me do please a, show a that picture. Show. Please show. Oh my god! <laughs> show a so. <laughs> oh my god I was a waiter I was a waiter why you look 10 years younger in this picture that's why I wanted to tell you you look 10 years know. younger in that picture clean shaven makeup dressed like a like uh I don't know you, that was before uh, the that's haircut that's my trailer right? that was by before the, way, the haircut that, yeah it's before the haircut yeah because that's you have my hair. trailer by the way because you yeah, fucking that's have that's my hair. trailer that's my trailer is Leslie. it nice just that small trailer that's it that's it that's all it's you need you close. piece of shit that's close to your supermarket sweep trailer, which had like a bed and a couple of. Nah, I had a whole home. I had a home. Yeah, you had a home. They give you like a mobile home, but this is what they give you if you have one line on a television. Yeah, because it's a, called yeah. a banger. It's called a half banger. Well, I don't think I could half bang anybody in that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good to get dressed in. And uh, and let me tell you, I had a great time. Ronnie's the best. Ronnie and is also, funny. He seemed like he's funny as hell. Oh, yeah. And it was so it's a scene in this restaurant. And then he actually at one point he's like, oh, the scene's a little um, expositiony, like it sets up their B story. So he's like, come over here. And he let me uh, go over the script with him and the director and the writer and throw in a line. So I got to. Yeah, because, you know, know, he knows what's up. Yeah, he know. He knows what's up. Mm -hmm. And I go, yeah, that's what I do. So I threw does in a line know, for that does, show as well. Does he know you write for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. See, it's me. I got you that. Oh no, I auditioned. I actually no, had to no, put myself on tape audition, for all no. three lines. Listen, listen. Come listen, on, we're friends. Listen, listen. listen. Okay, you're gonna take credit for listen, everything I do yes, from now on. Yes. So oh, son of a. So so he knew you was writing for me, so he knew you was funny because I don't fuck with unfunny people. So <laughs> don't don't think that that okay. invite over what? there with the director's chair and shit. Don't come on. <laughs> come on. Director was great, by the way. Very good really? um, comedy director. Really? Yeah, we was he look like at Watermelon yeah. Man? Good. Yes, he is Watermelon Man. Look him up, uh, Greg Matola. He's yeah. uh, he's I've done heard that super name bad. Before. He's done a That's ton of. You know what? You know what I was thinking, right? The the dude what? that Mariah Carey. Uh, Jimmy Matola. Oh, oh, Jimmy yeah, Tommy Matola. Tom, yeah, that's what Tommy. I was thinking about. I was like, you can't fuck with him. He's awful. <laughs> <laughs> he anyway, broke my he's about our age. <laughs> he's about our age and uh yeah, he's done a lot Adventureland, he's done a lot of comedies, so Really? Yeah. You said Adventureland? Yeah, I remember. He did that, yeah, that shit was yeah. good. So yeah, did you tell him? Bunch of them. Oh God. He looks... I didn't tell him anything. I was oh, busy God, being he an looks actor like powder. 
You remember Powder? You remember the movie Powder? You remember? See, y'all don't remember Powder. Y'all remember Powder. Yeah, I remember Powder. You remember Powder. See, is, Judith and them ain't old harsh. enough. You remember Powder? Okay, yeah. He, he looks like Powder. Sorry, Go he ahead, does. Judith, bring Stop up it. Powder. He looks like Powder. Stop it. You know he does. You know he does. And he would even admit it. He'd probably like, yeah, I've heard that before. Look, why would you have a cowboy hat on? I could not be on the set with him without literally giving him a hard time. Like, dude, <laughs> he didn't have a oh God! Like, now, nah, yeah. tell me, tell me they <laughs> no, don't look alike. Funny. Tell me they don't look alike. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for ruining our chance to work with Greg Matola. <laughs> tell me they don't fucking look alike. Get some, get that oh, motherfucker man, some glasses. Great. Give that motherfucker some glasses. Wait a minute, do you see this hat at the end? Now he looked kind of like Michael Jackson right there. That's. And you could look up Alice Lee if you want. Alice Lee was the Ronnie's plays Ronnie's wife, and she loves you because you love the show Zoe's Playlist. Zoe's Playlist and she was, was one the, of the shit. Jo- Zoe's Playlist on. was oh she shit! The she one, was the wife. No, the third one. Go to the right. Go to the right. She yeah, was there you go, fucking yep. awesome. She was yep. the wife. Oh my god, she did a really good song on there. She was yep. fucking awesome. See? She was and awesome. She said you tweeted out that you love that song. Yep. You loved her, and she is she a was huge fucking, fan. She was awesome. Yep. If you ever see her again, yep. tell her I say hey. I will. You what probably, a sweetheart. You know, she's from L- she's in L.A., so mm. maybe she'll pop into the comedy. That's what I said. Maybe we should put her on the podcast. Yeah, why not? Ask Let's her. Let's do it. All right. I would she love to have her nice. on here. She's fucking awesome. All right. We find. Let's find Alice Lee, Judith. And so that was a great, it was a great full day, but I missed all three spots. My head early spots. At, I came in at noon and we didn't shoot my scene to eight o'clock at night. Yeah, you know how that goes. I mean, but you'll be all right. You, but, you hey, really be yeah, with your spots. Fun. You really be with your spots, huh? Is it because of the money yeah. or is it because you just like doing the spots? Both. You don't need the money, though. I mean, I'm, I mean, like, That's you're not, not starving. I mean, I'm not saying you don't need no, the money. No, I'm not starving. No, no. Starving. If I have to trade a day for uh, the set, Doing what I did, I do it every time. I do it every time. I just got unlucky with how early my spots were. But it was, um, I love Ronnie Chang. He's the best. He's I'm really get funny, it. too. He said he'll come in and, uh, when we come back in the new year. He's really funny, though. I like. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the special Great I saw on him was like really, really funny. I don't think I've Great ever met dude. him, though. Uh, he, you'd love him. Maybe I One did and just don't remember. Real, him. real Fuck. guy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you probably met him in New York, at least. But... Yeah, and he's he was from he's like from the Malaysia area, that area, Singapore, Malaysia, and then he goes to, you know, he would go work in Australia. That's that's not too far from there, and then they would go up from there to New Zealand. So that's like a circuit for them, you know. That's like a, huh? That's a whole circuit. And wonder that how it would do though. You'll my, do great. When my dra- jokes transfer, I don't know. Yeah, they'll transfer. What do you think? They don't have mediums there, and they don't have. I mean, I don't. Uh, know. Yeah, they'll be. They don't have people going on fasting diets. Oh my god! Yeah. That, you gotta love that fasting joke. I do. So let's, it's so good. Well, all good. So it's all good. Everything's gonna be good. You're gonna have a great trip. And when you come back, <clears throat> I'll be here waiting for you. Yeah, hopefully, because you're supposed to have that <laughs> fucking surgery. Yeah, I'm gonna have surgery, and I'm and like I'm not dead. If fucking not dead, you die from some anesthesia bullshit. No, that's true. I don't want to fucking, like, that's not fair that you tell me that shit and you wait till I'm gone. Well, I'm what if I need to be in so state can... and you, like, they're going to bury you before I get back? Nah, I'll have them hold off. Wait a minute, you'll do that shiska shit? What is it called, shivers? I'm not going to do anything. I'll be dead. You're going to do the shiver stuff. I shit. have to do the shiver? Can I do it at the <laughs> house? Go to my sister's house. Yeah, you'll do it. You'll can I do it? I can't do it at my house. It's gonna be weed no. at my house. I can have shiva at the weed. I can have weed at the shiva. Mm. I mean, right? No. Well, then no. what kind of fucking shiva is it? You gonna be drinking? How come I can't? What kind do- of shit are you bringing at my shiva? Don't I can't fucking weed at my smoke shiva. at your shiva. I'm gonna be fucking devastated. This is terrible. I'm gonna you know be what? devastated. I don't give a fuck, I'll be dead. Exactly. You know, and Me and smoke Gina gonna you smoke want. the fuck up. We gonna be like that motherfucker yeah. gone. Then you're gonna eat all the bagels and locks. All the fucking and all bagels you. and locks, and I'm gonna sit there for seven days, high as fuck. Yep. Fucking so yo awful. shiver. I was like doing Lenny shiver. I was fucked up. Can't wait to see all the matter of fact. I'm, a, room I'm staring a, at you. Oh my god! I'm so gonna offer them a hit. I mean, like hit this shit so we can fuck this locks up, bitch. <laughs> Come on, so we can fuck this locks up, bitch. Let me have some uh, of that that holder bread. What's it? A holler bread. Holler. Holler. I'm gonna be like holler. 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 
<laughs> can a bitch get some? I, I I guess I can't eat pork. I can't eat bacon with that holla, huh? That's fucked up. Mm-hmm. It's dicey. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat bacon and cheese together. It fucking pissed them off. I was like, ooh, she don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there, just the uh, meat and cheese with the holla bread. Holla! People, I'm at the Chivas in the Shiva. People crying, but Leslie's shiver in the storm sm- in the corner. Shiver in this motherfucker. A shiver. Past the cheese and the bread and the holla! Oy vey, that black lady's having a great time. Uh, I'm going to be over there doing that. Uh, what's that shit called? The, 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 the uh, Drago the Drago. Drado Drados. I'll be doing dreidos over in this You're corner. Just working every Drado. possible Jewish thing you know into my Drado. I like it. Drado. Drado in this motherfucker <laughs> at the shiva. Let me get some bread and cheese with the holla bread at the shiva while I do the dreidel. I think this is a new rap song. Yo, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, your family would be like, wow, Lenny yeah. should have died yeah. so much earlier so we could have fun yeah, exactly. with this Leslie. She's You'll so see my fun. my sister having the best time of her life. She's- Leslie came, I finally got to meet her. <laughs> fuck you, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we will be setting uh, Gina up with another man. Yeah, all, it's all great. Thanks. Bring, bring Dina, uh, Gina some dick to the shiver. Bring some dick to the shiver <laughs> with the holla bread and the meat and cheese. Dreidel, dreidel. This is the meanest you've ever been. Dreidel, so dreidel, dreidel. I'm going to make your dream come true. You had that dream. I'm going to make that shit come true, son. Dreidel, dreidel. You do that, I will haunt you. I will be like, like Gina, years. come over here and dreidel this dick. Ooh, shiver. Oh. You hear it this first. I will make the lights flip on your house off over and over again. Do and you, you know what I'm going to be like? Lenny, get the fuck out my house, Lenny. Get the fuck out my house, motherfucker. Yeah. Good luck saging me, motherfucker. And I'm going to sage the shit out of you. No, I'm going to do something that you really hate. I'm going to just keep smoking weed and blowing it up. I know you're here, bitch. I had fun at your shiver with the holla bread and the meat and cheese. You'll just be sitting in your living room and then <laughs> random Lysols will be f- going off. No. <laughs> no. Ah, Lenny! <laughs> no, you, you'll be lighting my candle. Lenny, I don't want the fucking candle lit. The fuck out of here. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, but what if, like, the ultimate, the ultimate hunt is that I die and you're the angel that comes to get me? Yeah, bitch. Let's yeah, talk about what you here. did at my fucking shiver. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, payback's a bitch. Uh, you'll be taking the elevator down now. <laughs> Fuck you! I'll take you with me, bitch! <laughs> but that's right! I had fun at your shiver! I had fun at your shiver! I had fun at your shiver! Look, Lenny, I'm going down. Have fun at <laughs> Now it's time for Who the Fuck Is This? Who the fuck is this? Where we welcome our special guest for the day. We have one of the busiest women in the entertainment industry today. She's a stand up comedian, writer, and actor. She has her second hilarious one hour Netflix special entitled Good Fortune out now. She can be heard every morning on Sirius XM Channel 93 for Netflix on with Tom Papa. Yep. On their show, What a Joke with Papa and Fortune, they interview tons of comics, including one Leslie That's Jones. Right. She hosts a weekly podcast that with a partner, Jax, that, called Sincerely Fortune. That was one of Joe Please welcome seen. Fortune <laughs> Feimster to the show. <laughs> What's up? Fortune! I just talked to Leslie a bunch last week. She goes, was that the show I did? Yeah, I was like, yes. oh, I just did the one. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I just did. I know. Because don't y'all got two shows together? Uh, no, just that one. But Tom does a podcast about bread. Or called Breaking, breaking <laughs> oh, Bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've done that you one. You've done that one. That's where he made you bread. Yeah, but the other one, when y'all together, is the Netflix one. It's just, one. Uh, uh, yeah, that's okay, the only one we do together. I show you you learn something every yeah. day. <laughs> You do that every day with him? Monday through Thursday. A, no shit. Wow. Yeah, two hours. Two. And Tom is funny as hell. Yeah, he's very he's funny. He's so damn funny. Such a good writer, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. silly do as Do you know fuck. that Tom Papa was the officiant at my wedding? I did not know nah, that. I didn't know yes. that. Yes. When, uh-huh. when was that? You married us. Wow, so does that when mean that? you that really was... married? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. 2016. 2016. 2016. I know he. I would tell Gina to check into that. Yeah. Maybe she can get the fuck out of that. <laughs> he claims to be 
ordained or whatever it is. He's done you know, it a couple times for people. Yes. He really? He's I'm very yeah. good. Yeah, I was I'm not ordained. I think I, I worked at the marriage license office, so they made me an officiant. Oh, so you had to go marry people. Like, I had a thing and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. When I got married, that's what we hired, like, uh, one of those same-day marriage people. Yeah, they come out. They come out there, and yeah. We well, we used to, I used to do it at the place. They would come to the place, and uh-huh. then you just get over into my line if you wanted a ceremony, and... I would, I would love to have been in I your line. I fucked up every word. You did? Because I didn't know that that's what they would say. So I thought I would go by memory. So right. I was like, yeah, do you take this awfully wedded wife? All, I thought, awfully wedded. I, and, and I never understood why they would say awfully wedded. And I was like, I've always heard that. So until the judge called me over one day and he said, hey, it's lawfully wedded. Why are you saying awfully wedded? And I was like... That's what they said. He said, are you looking at the paper? Yeah, I Look was Look at the to fucking say. paper. Like, <laughs> it's written there. <laughs> in Orange County, was, so if you got married by me, you are, you are not married. You are awfully married. <laughs> you are awfully <laughs> yeah. wedded married. <laughs> Get this, Fortune. She also ended up on the divorce line, right? I ended up, like that because I wasn't, I was bored. I was bored sitting there just doing license, so they put yeah. me in the annulment uh-huh. department, and I annulled <laughs> most of the people I married. No way! <laughs> that quick? Was it usually a exactly. Pretty quick. quick turnaround. It was like three months, two months. Dang. Like, and it was like so funny because when they would walk in, I would be like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out." Like, you returned to some shit. Like, hey, I, you got a receipt? You got a receipt? Because <laughs> you were more excited to see them than they I, were you, man. And they were just that. I remember one dude was like, "Oh, I remember you." Yeah, yeah. yeah I put this this thing together. Yeah. Oh my god. I put this thing together. Yeah, man. I. So it's just like. It's just like so funny. My favorite thing that I watch you do is Deborah. Oh, um, the uh, you mean Brenda? Brenda. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's I've just... been calling her Deborah. Or, the... or wait, I've been calling her Deborah for the longest. The one with the in the what? hot tub. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch, that's not Deborah. <laughs> her name has been Deborah in my head <laughs> for Brenda. fucking ever. I, either works. They're both. I similar. fucking love. <laughs> Deborah. Brenda. Brenda. So now, but now her name's Brenda now. So now I got to yeah. But that, when I say that bitch is <laughs> fucking hilarious. Because when she goes, Tim. Tim. Oh, my God. Where did that come from? I It's my alter ego. This I play a housewife named Brenda. Uh, I was doing, I was filming something and I got bored on set one day. And they had dressed me in like turquoise and... Uh, I had like uh, denim on and they straightened my hair and I just, I got bored. So I started taping myself, just pretending to be some exasperated housewife, just yelling at my husband, Tim. And people were like, you got to keep posting Yo, these. <laughs> it's my mother fucking life when she goes, and Tim, let me let me show you the little the little towel that she did. That's for right. Me. And, and all I can picture is like Tim. Like I and the at first I was like, man, fuck Tim, because does Tim love her? But Tim does love her. He does. And I was like, wait he's a minute, lazy. I want a Tim though. But yeah. Tim, but Tim loves you though. He does. Like he's lazy and does his own thing. But then he buys her some turquoise. Yes, and, and then everything is okay. When she gives him a blowjob. Yes, and then everything's okay. You like I tell you. Tim, you're gonna you're gonna get it tonight. I swear to God, Tim, Tim I'm gonna just give you a BJ and <laughs> it's uh, so fucking funny. <laughs> Every time you be in that hot, I was like, who's hot tub is she in? Who's hot tub? It's her hot tub. And where do you get those wigs from? <laughs> well, because I came up in the groundlings, so I have like costume chests all over my house. People don't know Not that. Not costume chests. Yeah, I have multiple chests full of costumes because people have no idea that before stand-up, I was doing sketches all yeah. the time. That, I mean, fucking, that, I, I was like, okay, when are they going to give her a sitcom for this <laughs> motherfucker? Because <laughs> definitely, she she's definitely a Trumper probably, right? I don't, probably, I don't know. I mean, sometimes she can be liberal. She's got, you know, gay, I feel like gay she cousins. Was a, I f- yeah, I feel like she was a conservative that's kind of liberal because yeah. she doesn't really like the conservatives hate. Yeah, she, she's not a hater for sure. Right, she's so she goes, you know, I think there is some points that I can learn, me yeah. and Tim. Yeah, she's evolving, she's growing. Right, I yeah. fucking love she loves Kelly Clarkson. Deborah. <laughs> this is a character on Instagram. Okay. Just your camera. When I leave. I'm sorry. Oh, block the oh, this one my head. Look. Oh. Like but that. wait, pull the mic closer to her then. 
You shut up. You're in fucking New York. You <laughs> shut the fuck up. Well, I can see it from here. I see your head. I know you can see my fucking head because it's huge. <laughs> Look, I, I go I in there like it. this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here she comes. Bam. This bullshit. Here it you comes. Know, goddamn well, I'm going to change it. You know, I'm going to change it. Happy. 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 Uh-oh. Is that good? Yeah, babe. Hey, is yeah. that too low, Leslie? Why are you worried now, motherfucker? Why are you because worried about my Because I want to make now? sure it's it's a huh? it's a show about sound. It's very are you worried good about that my the sound, sound quality is good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, low. There we go. You know what? Better. Lenny, go spit. Lenny. Lenny. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I know, what I, I know exactly what I was asking. Because for context, I'm worried that's about what my I do. fucking mic, you nerd. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's <laughs> a fucking nerd. So fortunate. This is a character on Instagram. Yes. Yeah, I do. I I just put these silly reels up. It's so and, funny. You know, just uh, I'm usually in a turquoise bathing suit too. It's so funny. I, it's the only time you'll see me in a one piece bathing suit. And, and I love because because she, she she goes off about Tim all the time. Like I just don't know why Tim. And I was just like, how did they meet? Like, I know, you I guess there's a, a, I need to do some backstory. Do a, yeah, you know, you know, everybody's always asking, how did you and Tim, you know, because, you know, these girls want advice about having a good relationship. Right. So I'll tell you, you know, right. good blowjob. Maybe some sex tips from Brenda. <laughs> I'll pretend well, that I know, to... I'll pretend that I know how straight sex works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. <laughs> well, oh my God. You, you have such a great story coming out of North Carolina that is all the characters that you do just sort of have like that homespun yeah. country, like little bit. I think so. Yeah, because Brenda's like a like five ladies I know growing up, you know, mm-hmm. different versions of that. I mean, I, I already have a southern accent, so any character I do is going to be sort and of I southern. Love, I've always loved your voice. <laughs> I can't, it's a great how did we accent. meet? Thank Do you remember you. how we met? It would have been at the comedy store. Yeah, because that's the only thing I can. I, yeah. I just remember probably seeing you on TV a lot and then seeing you in person going, oh shit, there she goes. Like, cause you're, well, you were just like, so, like, a, such a dominant performer, performer at the comedy store. I was always, I never wanted to follow you because you were no one, so good. Never, no one ever <laughs> wants to follow me. And I was like, that's when you need to follow me. That's so right. You don't want to follow me. <laughs> That'll make you better. I'm, I don't know. I now, now I've always been just one of those. I, I don't think I've. I don't think I started seeing my atmosphere until now. Yeah. You know, because you're in such a uh, like beast mode and such a like. Oh yeah, you were in the zone. You always. were like, you were always. It's like you were about to go play a basketball game, <laughs> you had, and you had your towel in your back pocket. You were like focused, and uh, but yeah, I started at the comedy store uh, like 2007. But I was up in the belly room for like two years, mm-hmm. then made my way down to the OR. So it was been around 2010 that I started getting to know comics more. Let me see. I think I. But you started yeah. as at the Groundlings. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What I read, like 2005. Did you? Mm-hmm. Were you? Were you going to do both, or did? Were you? Was your goal improv acting, and then you were going to do stand, and then it just came into stand up? How did you go from one to the other? Most people don't do both, right? Yeah, I think I my focus was improv and sketch. That's what I loved. Uh, so I was like obsessed with the Groundlings. And uh, I started uh, doing my own sketch shows because back then it was hard to get stage time. And yeah. I was like, well, how are you going to get better if you're not performing? But they right. wouldn't let you perform. Yeah, they because sketch comedy was like the devil to regular comedians. Yeah. Like, you're a sketch comic, you're not a real comic. Right. So yeah. somebody came to one of my sketch shows in 2007 and they were like, you're a stand-up. And I was like, what? Like I never, I, I had kind of thought about it, but to me it seemed really hard. I was like, mm. I don't know how to write a joke. And she was mm. like, just just take a class. And uh, I was like, okay. And I literally just was like, okay, just listen to this this woman and took a class. And at the end of the six weeks, class. you do a Jeez. show at the belly room. Yeah. Because uh, it was Adam Barnhart's class, remember? Oh, God, kill myself. <laughs> oh, listen, no. <laughs> listen, I, I, but I'm saying after being a comic for a while, do you go, I didn't really need to take that fucking class? No, I think I did because really? it is only because... 
that was what was going to get me on stage was like the, okay, the I, I needed the saying. safety of it you know what I, I mean what you're saying. so I, I needed to like ease my way into it and then I ended up doing that Sunday night show in the belly room for like a year and a half uh I would do the music for mm-hmm. the comics coming up and no then shit. in return I would get 10 minutes as a brand new stand up yeah, was and like that was heart. Missy. Missy was there, right? Yeah, she was like kind of near the end, yeah. end of her being there. Okay, and I was, uh, I got passed by her, um, but that that pass where you're not a paid regular yet, but you can yeah. do the belly room Friday nights. That's hilarious. And then a year later, got passed wow. as a in 2010 as a paid regular. Wow. And then 2010, you do Last Comic Standing. Is that the jump point then at that point? Or you were just, you were working away at the comedy store no matter what, obviously. But yeah, the I got, big break was... I got passed at the store like April of that year. Did did Last Comic like July. And then started touring. I had never toured before, never opened no, for sure. anybody. And I just had to like trial by fire figure out See, how to See, but that means you was headline. funny, though. Nobody puts you on that shit unless you're funny. Yeah, but it was hard. I, I yeah, had, like, no material. Yeah. <laughs> so I got... I think I did, like, four episodes. It was plenty for me because I would have been out of material if I'd kept going. And I started doing gigs, but, like, college gigs, and I, I just sucked. But I was trying to figure it out. And then uh, six months later, got hired as a writer on Chelsea Lately. From Chelsea. I tested okay. twice for yes. SNL. Hmm. Two summers in a row. No shit. Uh, 2009, 2010, but didn't. Obviously see, but didn't see, get did you it. go in with those characters? Did you go uh, in with like Brenda? Bre- Brenda didn't exist back then, but <laughs> well, I had a bunch of. You got in with Brenda properly. <laughs> they would have. Lauren yeah, would have loved Brenda. Yeah, she didn't exist then, but I Lauren had like other loved. crazy characters. Lauren would have loved Brenda. He would have. Brenda. Deborah. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> I feel like I kind of tested for SNL yeah. a little too early. I think I was better. I, I grew Absolutely. so much like two years later. After that, because this is why I tell comics, it doesn't matter what you get. You still gonna have to pay dues no matter what the fuck mm-hmm. you get. You get it early or whatever. If you really like comedy, yeah, you will still pay your dues for sure. So you still was paying your dues. And I didn't even do stand up in those auditions. It was all characters hmm. uh, and stand up. I even though I like sketch and I'm good at sketch, I think I'm better at stand up. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. I think I'm better at being myself. I think I think that you tell stories <laughs> so fucking well. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Just some of the descriptions of it and you go, How fucking I love that she's so brave and doing that type of and, and but this is the thing that people don't understand. You can still be brave and do them to and not and still not be funny. You're mm-hmm. like so excruciatingly oh, funny. Like thank the the, you. the the uh Hooters thing is oh. still one of my favorite I have never Eating at Hooters. It's one of my favorite <laughs> things because you go, it's like a conversation with my aunt. And I'd be yeah. like, yeah, you don't remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I think when my first special, I, I discovered that I really like storytelling. I like that journey. So I leaned into it even more in this latest special. And you just have to trust that, like, man, are people going to follow me for seven minutes on this thing? And but but you have comic. to but you have to put jokes in it obviously yeah, throughout. Yeah, and you just have to know how to tell a story. Mm-hmm. And then this is why I tell people too is that that's the type of material people can't steal. Mm-hmm. Right, because you're talking about your life, your own life. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, I get you it. to tell a story? I little birdie told me to ask you to tell this story about performing in Des Moines. Is that your? <laughs> is that on the first? That's special. on that's I on think- this latest one, the Good Fortune special. Um, it's near it's near the end. Uh, I tell a whole story about. I mean, every story I tell is true. It's you know you use creative li- you use creative license to to make them funnier. But I uh, I did oh, a I'm sh- like that creative license. Ooh, yeah, I like that. come on now, creative <laughs> license. I like that. <laughs> I had a little creative license on that. Yeah, you've never heard that before, ever, bitch. And why you ain't tell me? <laughs> Don't try to fucking act like you knew what the fucking. Just, was. Did you know oh, what the I, fucking word was, you motherfucker? Of Go of course yourself. I knew what that was. Go fuck okay. yourself, Lenny. You've never said that to me. Lenny, you did not tell us about that word. Shit. He's a piece okay. of shit. He doesn't love me. I told him that today. <laughs> no, no, no. He has Lenny, no love for come me. Come on now. Whatever. Uh, this it's would just... have been like 2013. I did a show in Des Moines, and it was uh, at a bar. And so everyone was just blitz, just hammered. And uh, they did not care about me doing comedy. They just wanted me to get hammered with them. So the entire show was people sending me drinks, just one after another after another. And I was like trying not to drink. I was trying to do my job. And 
I started to partake in some of them. I finally, like, uh, got an old-fashioned and just, like, chugged it. You know, you're supposed to sip it. And I was feeling tipsy. <laughs> and uh, this this woman, this this butch woman comes saddling up to the stage, and she was holding a Smirnoff ice, and she's like, Hey, my name's Linda, and you are about to get iced. <laughs> And I didn't know what ice was. Do you guys? Do you guys know I what ice? Is? I mean, I know smeared off no. ice, but yeah. I didn't know that there's a. Yeah. So term. Get, I didn't know there's a so, term getting ice. So getting iced, I think it's particularly popular in the Midwest. Uh, you get ch- like if someone hands you a smeared off ice and they say you've been iced, you have to get on your knees and chug this bottle of smeared off ice until it's gone, like all in one gulp. And so she was like, you're getting nice. And I'm like, you're out of your mind, woman. I'm not doing this. And the whole, like, 400 people start chanting iced. They're like, iced, iced, iced. And I got peer pressured. And I was like, I'm like wearing a cardigan. I'm like a dork. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm just like, ugh. Fine. So I take this Smirnoff ice and I, I drink this entire thing. Like, Did you just, get on your knees? Yeah, I got on my knees. There's pictures of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post them <laughs> soon because people don't think I made oh, the story up. And uh, I get up and I drink the whole thing and I'm, I'm seeing Jeez. double and like I can't I can barely walk. I, I'm like I'm about to pass out. And so I so the whole story comes full circle. You have to watch the special because I start with something in the beginning of the set. And so the end comes around and pays that yeah. thing off in the beginning right. about what happens. Oh. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole thing happened oh and I got hammered in Des Moines because <laughs> this crowd iced me. <laughs> And I was stu- I was at the beginning of this tour working on that story, and someone in uh, someone in Omaha yelled, "I was there," because this happened like I said, like I don't know, t- eight years wow. ago. And I go, "You were there?" They go, "Yeah, I was at that show." They go, "I have pictures on my phone," and th- I said, what? "Can you send me those pictures?" Oh, that's so dope. So I've got these pictures now of me on my knees chatting. That, that yeah. don't you wow. love shit like yeah. that though? And I was like, "That's crazy." Wow! See, that is amazing. Comedy life, we have, we have, <laughs> we we have the worst, best job. Yeah, <laughs> ever. I know it's the best job, but it is like such a grueling it's schedule. The, it's like, and people don't understand that, like comedians, like we work. We're like salesmen. Yeah, we fucking the way that we hit the road, mm-hmm. the way that we like just have to handle. We hustle. It's a motherfucking grind. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's why old comics die. <laughs> oh man, they I know. fucking die. I'm son. on my cholesterol pills <laughs> all the fucking time, man. Blood pressure, pr- all that shit, man. Because we go to fucking <laughs> shit towns. We try to be good, yeah. but all we get is chicken fucking wings. Yeah, chicken fingers, all that barf, pizza, and all that mm-hmm. barf and all that drinking. My fuckers don't understand. It's like, yeah. I mean, and then people are like, "Oh, we make you drink, bitch, and eat back." <laughs> yeah, if I go to fucking Omaha, Nebraska, there's no fucking salad places there. There's all steak, and you're in a and you're you're essentially performing in a bar. So in a drinking. fucking bar that people are going to be smoking, drinking. Yeah. Oh, it's man. a, it's a grueling people, life. Remember when people would smoke in the clubs? Oh, my God. I used to actually Oof. have <sighs> to request that people be t- they would yeah. tell people to stop smoking my while I was on stage. My head would just be pounded My no, in I, My Texas. sinuses. Oof. Oh, my God. I what? remember one club in, like, Fort Worth, you could see the cloud of smoke over the stage. Dude, I got one for you. I've flown on planes when they s- used to smoke on the planes. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, son, that shit was <laughs> fucking... <laughs> And then, don't you remember non-smoking areas in the in the restaurant? You go, how does that work? Yeah, right. <laughs> Unless you're outside, motherfucker, mm-hmm. it's smoking area every fucking yeah. section. There was non-smoking on the plane. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> what is, how did that yeah. work? How did that work? It took a while for people to figure. <laughs> every time out. I see an ashtray on a plane, I go, "This plane is fucking old." In this, this is plane, an old they still go down. Down. If you look at the plane, they still have the no smoking sign yep. on some of these planes. Like what? They have what? to because people Why? go into the bathroom yeah. and vape. They light up. Yep. It's so insane. It's so dumb. It's but dumb. you, Fortune, you must be kind of a people person. For everything I've read about you, like you were, you know, uh, the, the um, what is it, the top of your class, the student, your elected student body president. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You played soccer and tennis. It <laughs> yep. seems like you go on the road a lot. You meet people and tell these stories about yeah. it. So you kind of 
like people. So you yeah. like to meet, go meet people and bring back the story. Well, I've th- never heard a bad story about you. Ever. Oh, well, that's good. Me neither. No, <laughs> that's the seriously. number one thing. I've on my never... sheet, look, on the number one sheet, she's nice. Is oh, the no, I'm one. serious. Nice. I've never, like, you hear, nice. you hear stories about comments I've never yeah. heard. Uh, oh, not well, one. That makes that's me feel Edward. good. I mean, I, I don't know. I grew up, like, very involved in school. I was kind of a nerd. I think I honestly think because I didn't come out till later in life, I wasn't dating and stuff, and guys weren't interested in me, so I had to put my attention somewhere. Right. And I wasn't getting that affection from guys, so I wasn't the object of anyone's affection. So I think I don't I, think you wanted it either, did you? I mean, I think I wanted something. Okay. I didn't know what, you know. <laughs> right. Um, right. But I think I found self worth in like achievement, like sports, like grades being involved in school that's where i found some importance that's you know awesome. so yeah i was like student body president in college and played tennis and soccer in college and was in the theater i was an ra i was very involved that's and, fucking like and, gra- wow. and graduated the summa cum laude yo that's crazy because i bet you would have been a person in college you'd be like oh man i love fortune yo yo let's just go ask fortune she'll fucking like <laughs> well nobody knew i was smart because I was so social and I was always doing stuff. They they didn't know it like, you know, midnight. I was going to my room and studying and doing my homework. So I, I remember at graduation when they said I graduated summa cum laude, people, I could hear people go, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was so like, and you know, I'm just kind of silly. You went to? It was a small women's college called Peace College in Raleigh, North Carolina. Peace? Like, that's in Raleigh. Peace? Yeah, but that was the na- It was the last name of the founder. It wasn't like Hippie Dippy Peace. Oh, because I was yeah. going to say, William what Peace. the I know, fuck? It feels very hippie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was all, I, I, and, and I think as far as being nice, I think that that's a big influence from my grandmother. She was I was just going to say, real, how were your parents? Were, were your my parents, parents very too, supportive? yeah. Supportive, I mean, yeah. of you and, and everything and, and when you came out, mm-hmm. did, like, was that a hard thing? I mean, they were super cool about it. I think for my mom, she was more just like worried that life would be harder for me. Which and every parent is going to feel so that way. So yeah. she knew like, well, now now people are going to have this thing towards you but just because of who you are. Right. And um, so that, I think, was hard for her. And, you know, I think also parents have this, like, vision of what they think your life is going to be. And mm-hmm. she had to kind of unravel that. And Because uh-huh. uh, I remember telling her when I came out, I was like, my way of approaching it was saying— because it's hard to say the word gay when mm-hmm. you're first coming out, at least for me. I was like, really? it almost like couldn't come out of my mouth. Uh, so I was like, you know, my life is not going to be what you think it is. That's how I started the conversation because <laughs> I couldn't say gay at first. Well, I, and then, then to how, how do you not? I think I would know. How, that I wouldn't oh let, you mean my mom mm-hmm. she was so <laughs> clueless my brothers she goes well your brothers did say to me <laughs> over the years <laughs> and I mean I that because your brothers are everybody yeah your brothers knew my well you I think had, your father knew too um maybe mm-hmm. I had I did a joke in my last special sweet and salty where I come out to my brothers and they were like duh <laughs> and I was like well you know what made you think I was gay all these years, and my brother said, well, once when you were seven, you got hit with a soccer oh, ball and yelled, ow, my dick. I remember that. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> I guess he thought I was I gay. Today. <laughs> wow. From then That's on. That's fucking funny, yeah. but, oh my so God. So they kind of always had an idea, but my mom was very much, she always had a vision for what she wanted me to be. Right. It took me, my mom a while to really accept who who I am. And now she does fully. Right. But for a long time, she wanted me to be that girly girl, you know, just not who I am. Re- How okay. about that? Go. go ahead, Leslie. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Cause I How asked. about that whole town? Belm- you know, from Belmont, yeah. mm-hmm. North Carolina. How about the whole town? That What are they, do they accept that down there or yeah i um i'm from a small town probably like nine thousand people when i was growing up eight or nine and uh you know that's a very conservative area very red around the county um yeah. but i but um everyone was always very lovely and very supportive of me like no one ever talked politics and it's not that area is not red in the way that like some places are like saying. whoa um, and, uh, and so I would come back from LA and everyone was always like really rooting me on and 
you know, wanted me to be successful. And they were early on supporters. Like, they would let me do shows in bars there and pay $5. People would come up. Like, 200 people would show up. Because you're funny. I know, but, like, I was, like... I'm talking like 2008. Yeah. I had no material. Yeah, and they yeah, were but you're funny. Yeah, I guess, it's but I same. had no idea what I was doing. So they were always really supportive. And I remember I did a show in a bar. Uh, there was all these people there, and I was telling my first joke that I ever told about being gay where I said— uh, uh, that I was a late bloomer, that I would get very intense about friendships growing up, and my mom would be like, I don't understand why you would get so upset when your friend Michelle goes on a date with a guy. And I was like, because she's my best friend. <laughs> 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 and I told that joke, and that was my way of coming out to my hometown because this was long before being on TV and whatnot. <laughs> and I was so nervous because I knew, you know, that they were lean differently political than me, and... I was like, oh, my God, you know, this is my way of telling my entire town that I'm gay. Because once you tell that group, everybody's going to know the next day. And they stood up and cheered and clapped. They were just, like, so lovely and supportive. Oh, man. At the end of the day, they just wanted me to be happy. Happy because you fam. Yeah. That's fucking beautiful. Yeah. See, and go down and make them vote. And stand there and go like, now your friend is telling you to fucking vote, motherfucker. You know what? I got to ask you. How, how do you, how do you, how, how did you, like, when you were comfortable with me, how did you start hitting on women? Oh, I have to ask that. I was very How awkward. did you catch your wife? I was very awkward for a while. I was, like, afraid of women at first. Really? Yeah. Like, I came out at 25. I would say from 25 to 30. Very awkward. I was like, because I was learning how to date at between 25 and 30, how you would learn to date when you're 16. Mm. And you, when you're making all those mistakes early on, you're you're a kid. You're mm-hmm. just, and now I'm like, I should know better, but I didn't have the experience. So I was fumbly at, on dates and a dork. And so girls were not into me at first. It took me a while to find my stride. And really? Then, and then I got Chelsea. And then I started getting confidence, and then women were very into me. Then, but, I, then I was so, like, then I was like an eleven in Chicago. No, sh- I mean, but you, <laughs> just in Chicago. That is still like a Chicago's four in LA. <laughs> but, but, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I know. Tell this is, Leslie how you met your wife. Wait a minute, no, but this, I know this I know is probably a deep fucking question. But like, you were still having sexual experiences though. Went uh, oh yeah I was like yeah but they were like you know one night stands okay, they're okay, kind of okay. awkward or I wasn't it, I wasn't because how you relate- hooked up for that like do you go up and go like let's yeah, go do I mean, it I don't know like how you would with oh anything no, you know not, not the way I do it oh yeah well no, you just get right to it let's right? go fuck yeah no. I didn't have I didn't have that confidence. <laughs> Don't you want to go fuck? <laughs> Don't you want to put the penis in the pina and the putu? I think I would date people for like a couple months and then like it wouldn't work out. So that was kind of what th- wow. those years were that kind of thing. Oh no uh, shit. Yeah. And then but, but within thir- yeah. 30 to 35, I had a lot of fun and ha- was had some more relationships, but not any like long term things, still like shorter things. And then I met my now wife at Gay Pride in Chicago. Oh, Gay Pride Maybe. in Chicago. So how did that? I mean, how did? Yeah. How are you? Why were you in Chicago? Just doing shows or? Yeah, I had I had a show the night before in Milwaukee, um, uh, for their or no, uh, for uh, Minneapolis for their Pride, and my my friends were throwing this big lesbian party in Chicago, and they were like, "Why don't you just come through, stay you know the weekend and hang out with us." I was like, yeah, sure. They're like, you can introduce, like, I think Ruby Rose was the DJ or something. And I went to this event and was just kind of standing there watching the DJs by myself. And she and her friend just walked up. And, you know, that thing you hear of, like, oh, that person will just appear when you least suspect it. And I was like, whatever. And I wasn't looking for anything because I had just gotten out of a thing. Always, people always say that. Fuck! And it's it, not and that just, way. It doesn't happen she for everyone that way. <laughs> you never Fortune. know. You never know. Is what I'm saying. So she well, wait a minute. Right so she walked up to to you, and she came on to you, or did y'all just? Her friend wanted a picture, uh, and and Jax had been kind of drinking. She's like, just go ask her. Who cares? And because the girl was nervous, and because I was I had been on Chelsea at that point for like four years. And uh, and she's like, just go ask her. And the girl's like, no, come with me. So I thought they were together. 
And so I didn't really pay anything, pay any attention. I took the picture. Nice to meet you Thinking guys. Thinking it's like a couple. Yeah. yeah. And then they came back like 10 minutes later. And I was like, oh, what's happening? And uh, she goes, the picture was bad. I go, and it gave me like a confidence that I wouldn't normally have. I was like, sure, it was bad. And she was kind of flirty. And so I like let my arm linger and I realized they weren't together. And so it gave me like I thought she was flirting with me. So I then flirted with her. And thinking that she was into me, so I was being like, you know, sort of Yeah, like, like yeah, motherfucker, let's yeah, do this. Exactly. We kept running into each other all night and uh would flirt and then uh What's the flirt though? I wanna know the flirt. <laughs> Just I mean, <laughs> let you know, like she's like, Go tell a joke about me. I'm like, it didn't work like that. I don't know you and you know, buying But buying I know drinks. you did. Yeah, and then but she You had, bought her a drink? I bought her a drink. Ah! And then, she had like people hanging on her, and I had girls <laughs> flirting with me. Uh, people were like trying to keep us apart like all night. It was nah, very weird. nah, they weren't trying to keep you apart. Then yeah. the cupid was like, keep it. And so, throw she, back your bow. She had this one girl like hanging over, like trying to claim her territory. Really? And I got. And what that girl looked like? She was really short, so I wasn't worried Keep about that her. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck and her. And so, again, I was not always the most like, uh, you know, like, confident person but for whatever reason that night I just had the thing and uh, I knew that we wouldn't be able to like get to know each other and hang out if we stayed at this bar because all her friends were there and all these people were like pulling me in different directions so I went up to her with that girl hanging on her and I said I got an Uber coming in five minutes I'm going to a bar downtown Uh, are you coming or not and uh, she just looked at me and didn't say anything and I walked away and I walked outside and I didn't, really didn't know if she was going to, if, if you know, I thought that might be the last time I see this girl. And the Uber rolls up, the door open, and she jolts out of the bar right into that Uber. And I go, holy wow. shit, yeah, I can't believe was, that let works. Let me tell you something. If a dude came up to me and he finally was like, I'll be like, whoa, I'm already outside waiting. I'm yeah. already waiting. That was I smooth said, as That was fuck. smooth, and I have never That's been. That's smooth as Fuck. I, I highly recommend that. I got an Uber coming in five minutes. You coming or not? It was. I don't know if it best, worked that well for men, though. Men would be like, oh, no, I'm not coming, you fucking jerk. No, but uh, that's. You wouldn't go, Leslie. You'd be like, this guy's got a kidnap. I know. Me. It's, I don't know. It Jack. depends on what he looks like. It's harder for women. It depends women. on what he looks like. If he fine, I might be like, but where's the Uber going, though? <laughs> I'm going to need to share my location. I'm going to share my location, but I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it worked, but yeah, that was that was sm- hot. That but, was the I mean, but like ever been. when you saw her, you was immediately attractive. Was yeah. it like love at first sight? Mm-hmm. Not, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not not like love at first sight because you don't know each other. Right. But she never felt like a stranger to me. Oh, uh, and I had never yeah. experienced That's hot. that before. That's hot. I was like, I feel like I felt immediately like comfortable connection. and yeah. So did y'all did y'all fuck around that night? I mean, you know, maybe some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fortune got Wait, the fortune. She, she lives in Chicago. PG. You live in LA. Oh uh, yeah, uh, we were long distance for a year. Really? Oh, wow. mm-hmm. That was hard. Yeah, I we were tired all the time, both of us. Because she was a kindergarten teacher, Aww. so she was working, you know, crazy hours and exhausted. And I was touring, and she would meet me on the road, or Aww. or I, I'd fly out to see her. She'd fly out to see me. Wow. At the end of the year, we we're like, we gotta. Figure it out. Figure this Figure out because we're both going to pass but, but out. But that's, that's a trip, though. You both said, hey, there's no question that we want to be together. We just need it. That, that's yeah, that's when you, that's, yeah. the, see, but she had I'm going to die alone. She had to make, she the, had to make the, the big move. The big move shut up. LA, shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> that was not a big move if she was already in fucking love. That was, that was not even, well, that was just a, a fucking logistic. I don't see she you had to leave her job, which she really loved. Bitch, you... How many times have I told you I'll be on a tractor? Oh, you would. That's true. Are you, you move fucking? Out there? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. If I if I found a guy I was in love with, he had a farm or so, hell. All right. Yes. Well, that's I will good. be your farmer, bitch. Farmer, bitch. As long as I can have a rifle <laughs> out there, and a you'd, pipe. you'd have to have one out there because there's a, cop a bunch pipe of animals and a tractor. Yeah, a bunch of wild animals. <laughs> and I'm gonna ride around all day. I can see that. <laughs> Like Granny. <laughs> well, listen, if you're love, you're on the farm and then you're getting it. I'm just saying. 
Well, you never, I mean, you just never know. I mean, Money is not the root of everything. Yeah. Well, you can still tour. you be like, I, I'm exactly. going to have to leave on the and weekend. See, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what the fuck I'm saying. But Lenny won't let me quit. Lenny. What? Lenny keeps telling me God. that I, Go he's ahead. like, no, we have to be famous, Leslie. Go ahead. You have what? to fucking keep doing it. I'm we, sorry, why? We got to meet the guy first. Sound like me. And then sometimes he goes, scratch. <laughs> You gotta meet, I start quoting. Well, you at least have she to meet the guy I start quoting Martin Luther King. <laughs> don't I start qu- going, don't free at last, free at last. <laughs> don't quit until you found the guy, though. Ugh. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. I'm I want to see quit. this guy. No, I quit. I I give up. And I really, last night was so funny. I had a moment that I was like, oh, wow. I actually don't think I'm, I'm good. What? Like, what? I'm good. I just feel like uh. I'm old and I feel like... I'm too set in my way. I like, I really like my life. Yeah. But what made you think that? Were you on stage or something? No, I was, oh, I don't know who, I was talking the to, business to my homegirl. No, I was talking to my homegirl on Facebook last night that I yeah. went to college with. And it was so funny because she's, she's a lawyer and all that. And, and, you just still I just see her in college and you go oh god I keep forgetting that you were younger than me and now you're older and all yeah. this stuff and I was like oh girl I, she was like you look great and I've been seeing your pictures and stuff and your, uh, you look great during your birthday and I was like yeah. oh I need a girl I need a I need a I need a uh, I need a man girl yeah and uh, as soon as I sent sin I was like do you actually want like I don't. I'm good. Like, yeah. if I, if it comes, I want it. But I, th- yeah. I'm so exhausted with wanting that. Right. I got. Yeah. I get Does that, that make sense? So like, it's like exhausting. Mm-hmm. Just going. Okay. Am I? Uh, we're not sure if she wants a man or a vacuum cleaner. Like, she pulls him out of the closet. She has sex with him. Exactly. Puts him back in the vacuum. Exactly. Back in the closet. Yeah. I mean, I think it is one of those things you have to kind of let let go. Like, I, you know what I mean? I literally, I'm not saying I'm not interested in it no more. I'm just saying I'm exhausted. Right. And that's okay. You, can, you know what I'm saying? You can I'm like, just like. Put that hunt on pause and yeah. you never know what will come. Yeah, I just feel like I'm good. Like, I feel like I'm 55, just turned 55. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm old anyway. So I feel like I don't know if I'm exactly sexy anymore like you yeah, know what I'm girl, saying? Like, you sexy well you know i'm just saying like you know <laughs> a bitch eating a bed now you know what i'm saying you know just like you know i she's wake setting up in her way is what she said yeah. Yeah. it is hard once you got your life a certain way to like then you know my room sure. cold as up. fuck yeah. my mm-hmm. room be motherfucking 55 degrees 55 55 no. bitch because i get hot so you're gonna have to be under the blanket yeah you're gonna have to wear sweatpants and sweatshirt. To... <laughs> <laughs> ain't no sleeping naked in this motherfucker you a die son. that is a cold room that's a cold ass room yeah well maybe you'll meet a, a guy that likes it cold I mean, you never know. I just, I think those things kind of I don't know, work man. themselves out. I don't out. know what the, and I just don't know what type of dude's going to be with me. Yeah. I'm crazy. <laughs> like, what kind of dude, every morning, every time I send him a text, he wakes up and he goes, oh, uh, <laughs> God. You're going to find somebody that wants that, though. Everybody keeps saying that this guy's in France somewhere and being held hostage. He's in France? I Why always in France? Picture, I don't know. It's <laughs> either France, France or Morocco because he can't be from America. I don't. You don't I feel, think so? No, I feel like it's gonna be somebody who don't know shit about me. Okay. She likes foreign guys, and um, I just feel like he's not gonna know about me. You want an accent? No, it's not the accent. I just won't, don't want him to know shit about me. Okay. I, he's probably gonna be American, but that he was in France and Morocco working. I see. Yeah. And then he's like, I, you know, I heard your name before, but I yeah. don't really know. He's like, I didn't, I didn't watch your movies. But I, I think SNL. you're gorgeous though, and I want to be go. with you. And, <laughs> and also, do you want a croissant? I'm, and like, I'm totally like, <laughs> I want, I want the guy that's attracted to me. Yeah, like, of like course. you know that just like if he even wasn't dating me, he yeah. would date someone that's like me. Right. Right. Does that make sense? So like, I'm yeah. his type. Yeah. But, see, fantasies. I don't think it's a fantasy. <laughs> it's it can a happen. fucking fantasy. It can happen. You it's a fucking keep fantasy. putting it out there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So there's some guy yeah, right now in France smoking a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. You're in France right now. <laughs> Going, where are the <laughs> fucking bitches? The, where are the funny bitch? Where's the funny bitches? <laughs> I would need a funny I bitch. I must go to America. I must Very go to America fun. and find a six-foot <laughs> funny bitch. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, somebody's smoking <laughs> thinking that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, send your send your uh, resumes to fuckrepodcast at gmail.com. Now you're going to get the crazies. 
We're not gonna get. We'll get crazy. As we'll, it just takes. You keep one. saying that. You keep saying that. Do, do you not remember what happened with Match? Did you not hear the story? She's just standing there, and two ladies yeah, come up to her. Yeah, but like, what's the her... shit though? Like, yeah, but you're the shit. Look, no, just listen. People walk up to me, and they don't hit on me. I didn't get hit on a lot either. They'd be yeah, scared of me. They act like they interested because I'm Leslie Jones. They go, mm-hmm. yeah, the Leslie Jones thing. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck she gets in on so much that she has. We're going to show a clip now. Uh, what the fuck I get hit on? And, and then the fact by that. By a swingers couple. The <gasps> fact that you didn't fucking tell me people are hitting me? on me makes. Sh- oh, you talking about Fortune. Me? I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> I'm talking about Fortune. Never mind. She has a clip and a special. Oh, I, my I God. Let's go, I want to see that. All right. Play this, please, Judah. <laughs> I'm the worst. Nice. Oh no. They did. No. Yeah. That's hilarious. Were... What? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, get out of my face. <laughs> Not curtsy. <laughs> <laughs> she curtsy. <laughs> it's yeah. not a no, but it is polite. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> yeah, that really, that really didn't happen. Nice. It was uh, that's fucking hilarious. It was in a club, and um, she came through the meet and greet. I've and, had a couple, of and told me that, yeah. and and uh, I was with Jackson, and Jackson was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> I go, and the woman was in like the woman looked like a lesbian, and uh, she was an older woman, obviously. I think she she probably was about seventy eight. And wow. uh, just very boldly told me that she and her husband were swingers. And, you know, did, did I want to go yeah. out after? That happens more often than you think. I've gotten hit on by swinger couples. And I've, I've, I've and both sides, I've had a man come up to me and go, hey, my wife says that I can sleep with you tonight. Well, I say no. <laughs> I, say, I say you can't sleep with yeah, me. Yeah, it's up to you, right? Yeah. And then I have, I've had women come up to me and go, oh, yeah, I'm actually a lesbian in a straight relationship. But yeah. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. What? Yeah, you just got to, you know, it's for some people, not for others. I just laugh. I go, okay, well, I guess I still got it. Yeah. It what is flattering. The fuck? <laughs> I, no, my I audience wonder, is old ladies, too. I wonder. No, it's I, not. I feel like more Get and more couples are starting no, to not. do that, though. No, it's not. Ladies are not. Listen, this is a true story. Oh, fuck I was working a show, um, and my girlfriend at the time is very jealous. Very jealous. She's always afraid I'm going on a road and girls are talking to me. And da, da, da. I was talking. Is about, that the redhead? The crazy one uh, that stopped talking to you? I don't know that she was a redhead, but okay. yeah, there's plenty of them that stopped talking to me. Anyway, <laughs> so I was talking to a girl. Um, I was talking to some girls in the front row, and my girlfriend is at the show. I was just using them as props when you do some little crowd work. And and after the show, she's giving me how, like, oh, you were talking to those girls in the front row. I'm like, I don't even remember what they look like. I was just doing a bit. Right? And so she gets mad and goes to the bathroom. And then she comes out laughing. I'm selling CDs at the end. She comes out laughing. What? I was in the bathroom and I start to get really mad because I'm in the stall and the next stall, these two ladies are talking to each other and they're going, he was so cute, then on and on and on. So I'm like waiting for them to come out and they came out and they were both like 69 years old each. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right, you're fucking happy now? That's my demographic. That's what happens when I go on the road. Fuck, fun, shut though. the fuck up. Oh, you could have some fun. That's yeah, it's brutal. Yeah. My, uh, oh my, my road life is not even close nervi- to that. I was too nervous to do like a threesome thing. This is a lights off, but like one on one body. Yeah, this I, is not a like someone's just, watching. It's like if, when I was younger, I'm I would score. I'd like maybe do the two men thing, but it's just so much dick. It's just that's so a, much. That's and a lot of dick. It's just like and it's all coming you only at have you. So many holes. You know, it's just all coming at you, and it's just like whoa, one at yeah. like, like I'm a one at a time. Just yeah. one at a time, you know. Um, yeah, this yeah. Is, this and is then, a light and self. I would never like I could never have a threesome with another girl unless we were strangers and mm. the guy was a stranger. But if he was my man, oh, yeah. I'm literally going to be like. 
you fucking her too long. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is some real bullshit. And if it look, and if, You've been in that pussy yeah. long, son. Get your motherfucking ass out that pussy. And if he look like he's enjoying it. Oh, too I much. would be so mad. Yeah. Oh, I would be so fucking mad. But I'd be like, so you enjoying uh, that, you fucking asshole? Yeah. So threes are not for you then. Not at all. Yeah. I forgot who told me that. They was like, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I mean, you hear of couples <laughs> doing it, but you hear about it. But then it. you also hear them like breaking, breaking up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're not yeah. supposed to bring other pussy into the fucking equation. Yeah, two that pussies don't work. equal make up right. Two you know that's why you know the right. co- whenever you have that 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 <laughs> wife thing that like that sister wife shit. You oh, know that yeah. bitch ain't my sister. Like that I would always, be hard. even when I was young, like I used to hear about the African men that have different wife, and then I'd be like, oh, if I ain't got the best hut. Mm-hmm. Like fuck that. Yeah. Why are hood better than mine? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fortune, do you have a project that you want to do coming up? Uh, like, what's your dream project? I saw your your IMDb is ridiculous. You've been like on every show yep. as hop, guest stars. Hop around. Uh, you pop I, around, but I would say, what would you want to do? I really want to. I've done movies and stuff, but I've never had like a like. I, I would love to get to be at the helm of a movie, like a buddy comedy or, you know, there's oh, a non- You guys would be perfect. We should do Midnight Run. Leslie. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we should Run. do a movie for sure. I mean, so I would love to do some sort of big, like, action comedy movie. Well, where you would have to escort me to a destination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> that would that be would funny. Be funny. Yeah, so that's uh, that would be a big goal of mine. I'm doing. I I filmed a big action comedy uh, for Netflix that's coming out sometime next year with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nice. Yeah. I saw the picture. You, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Danny DeVito. Was that yeah. the picture? No on, on shit. Yeah. Danny wasn't in that's the show, but I went to Arnold's oh. house and that's where I met him. Uh, Danny but, DeVito was at Arnold Schwarzenegger's house. That yeah. Just- they're friends. Yeah, they're friends. They did a movie. They did a, That's right. Twins, they did twins, twins, twins together. That's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. That's right. Yeah. So they're still good buddies. And um, yeah. So I think a movie, doing a movie uh, would be cool. It would be really cool. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Awesome. Well, can you stay for the next segment? I want to play a game. Okay. Let's do can it. You, you want to play All a right. game. Well, Leslie. Yes. I came up with a game for us today. We've never played this one before. Remember the game when we were kids, Scruples? Do you remember no, this I, game? Don't, I don't, because black either. people don't play shit yeah. like that. Because what the fuck? How many letters is in that that's name? A, yeah, that's scruples? A what the fuck? What does scruples mean? What does scruples mean? First of all, what's scruples the definition of scruples? Scruples is a feeling <laughs> of doubt or hesitation with regard to morality or propriety of a course of action. For example, I so, have no scruples about eavesdropping. So, so, so like, black, but, you see black people playing that. Charades is as far as we got, bitch. The fuck is scruples? <laughs> I, oh, I'm I, gonna, white people are so I'm going to give you a scenario. Oh, my God. Just, I'm going to give you a scenario. Let's play the fucking game. Let's we don't have exhausted. to. What the fuck? Just play the fucking game. All right. All right. Let's, I'll, re, I'll rephrase it. What would you do in this situation? Okay. Your dog or cat's sitting for a friend. You have to go to their house every day. Do you wander around the house or you check out or don't? Do you check out the house and wander around or not? Isn't that like truth or dare? Isn't that just like what the fuck? What's the? That's another that's game that this is called. It's how, besides your nerd, <laughs> fucking pretentious, fucking title you gave it. Like it's, like it's trying to say you have the scruples to to walk around this person's and house. And scruples mean that you got balls. Yeah, you got the umph. Then the why umph. you just don't say that? You got the umph. The umph game. Mm-hmm. Yes, first of all, I'm going to look through every fucking thing, your refrigerator, your medicine cabinet, <laughs> your drawers, anything that's not fucking locked. Yes. If you're going if okay. I'm going to babysit your cat and your dog, I want to know who I'm dealing with. I want to find the body. I'm the bitch that oh, wants to wow. find the body. Yeah. If you got Fortune. a body in your house, I want to be the one that open up the door and go, <gasps> <gasps> "Dang." I want I well, want to turn the yeah. Do you turn him in then? What if you yes, find the body? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. And then I text like while the police is there and go, "Hey, something happened to the cat. You may have to come home." And I'm gonna what? stand there and watch you get arrested. Wow! That is- I stay at your house. I don't look through anything. Yeah, I'm not I, looking through anything. I wouldn't look through anything either. I would look through the fridge. You're stupid. I would if open you don't. the fridge, but I don't. I would <laughs> go through people's drawers. I'm always worried there's yeah. like a camera somewhere. Shit, I there is a camera. She has and cameras I, everywhere. Think I, give yeah. a, I don't have a camera inside. I, anybody who has cameras inside of the house, 
Suspect. As freaky diggy. Suspect as fuck. Yeah. And, and cameras outside is cool, but when you filming people, don't film me without me fucking. When I walk in your house, say, hey, I got cameras on. Say that. Don't fuck, because I don't want you having footage of me doing shit. Mm. You understand? But um, I went to the... I went to the Kentucky Derby one time, long time ago, and uh, this guy invited us, me and a couple of friends, down to his house. We don't even know this guy. Like he's, we met him somewhere. He's like, "Come down from Kentucky, come on down." So we go to the That's Kentucky Derby. Look at his house. And uh, and I go to the bathroom. I'm not looking through anybody's house. We, I go to the bathroom, and he had won money on a race from the Kentucky Derby. Right? There was eight grand sitting on his on the toilet. You know, like on the top of the yeah, like he had just grand. set it down. Eight grand. He just put it down. Like I'm just gonna put down. Yeah, because he had him come in going, I want eight grand. You know, and he put it. He put a wad of cash. I don't know who puts a wad of cash in their bathroom and then he leaves was it. Pissing. I don't know how you <laughs> probably put it down and drunk. Of course, I wouldn't piss. I'd be staring at that money the whole time I was pissing. What are you not? <laughs> so, so then I just, I just walk out of there. It's not like I didn't look at the eight grand, but let me I ask you a question. Out of there. I want. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Was eight hundred dollar bills? Yeah. Oh, I would have took a couple of them. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, back in the day when I was young, now I wouldn't because I don't have to. You got your own hundred dollar yeah. bills. But, but I would yeah. take something straight from the middle. How you gonna know? Fortune, would you take a couple hundred dollar bills? No way. I would be too scared. Shit. I, yeah. I would have been too yeah. nervous. Why you got this in? The I bathroom? only got seventy eight hundred. Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> Fuck him. He wouldn't. Nope. Have, he might not have realized it until he got and home. Exactly. He's not gonna realize it until he gets ready to count it, and then he's not gonna give a fuck. Oh, I thought I won eight thousand. It's really only seventy seven hundred. <laughs> fuck out of here. Because I'm only gonna take three. Let me tell you. And I don't know Leslie if I can admit this, but when I worked at a bank, yeah. I don't know if I can admit this now. But I used to steal. What from a bank? Don't can they have I, to can, like? Hey, Cody. Can I say that? It? Probably I not. <laughs> would I go to jail? Everyone's like, everyone's would I like, go to jail now? Probably not. No, it's not. Sad. No. I, we don't I don't know. think you can I don't, say that. I, can I say that? No, no, it's not Chase. It was an old <laughs> bank, though. So I was a I was a bank teller. I was a bank teller. And let me tell you, I had no, no. I don't think I had any perception oh of God. being arrested or uh -huh. I don't think I don't know if that is just I just was yeah. I don't know you're just like one for you what one for me and, and <laughs> so bank teller the bank teller like I would do shit like you know like 20 here like, 20 like, there no seriously like slip a 20 here slip a 20 there I was doing like a slip a 20 here slip a 50 that there that was a bad bank that didn't have checks and balances but yeah but what thought, the fuck they, they, they were so sweet and they just thought that I couldn't count Man. So, cause I would be like, oh shit, I miscounted, I miscounted. So they was like, oh, cause I was, they loved me, and they was like, oh, Leslie, you miscounted your drawer. You, this is the fourth time you miscounted your drawer. You're like, oh, I'm bad. So with we're numbers. gonna put you in. The, we're gonna put you. <laughs> we're gonna put you in the money bag room no. so you can count money bags. That you can get better so at you it. Get better at it. <laughs> that is so stupid. Now, now that I want to tell you. So now I want to tell you. Yeah, yeah. I want to tell you money that where we counted money did not have cameras. Oh my god! It didn't, at that time, they didn't have cameras, and there was a reason that they didn't. But they had sound oh. that you could hear what we're saying, but you can't yeah. see what we're doing. Yeah. It was like a little closet. Yeah. So I was in the room with another girl that would count. So she would get the money bag. She would count a stack of hundreds and then pass it to me. I would recount it. Yeah. So. Whenever I needed money, uh -huh. she would count the stack. I would take the stack because she would be grabbing another stack. I'd take the hundred, flip it, get it inside, and then I'd count it and go, <laughs> hey, you miscounted this. Oh, my God. I would leave like, and then, and I then. I would be sweating. And then, and then you have to go to the safe yeah. to, to get it recounted again. There's no cameras in there. Right. So I would do the same thing in the safe with the lady. She would count and she'd be like, oh, this is short 50. I was like, oh, shit, I must have miscounted. And then oh pull my, another. Oh, my God. And I did that oh shit. I did God. that. And I think I was like something like a thousand dollars I had got up to one time. And I remember I was with Richard at the time. And Richard, Richard was like, are you hoeing? He literally said to me, because yeah. I was that type of girl. He knew <laughs> it. He was like, are you hoeing or something? Why are you coming home with so much money? Yeah. So I told him what I was doing. He was like, yo, bitch, you going to go to jail. Like, yeah. like he made me quit. Well, so I, I quit. I quit. I went on to quit before they actually called yeah. me. So I would have oh been my, in the Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I told you. I, I would have been too I'm nervous. I'm a gangster. 
That would I don't been... think any of these scruples questions are for you then. <laughs> we know Leslie has scruples. <laughs> We're called so, this game should be pussy or scruples. <laughs> I'm I'm a big pussy. <laughs> Fuck you. I be talking you, too so, fucking much. If they come arrest me, Cody, you better give me the best lawyer. All right, so wait, number two. <laughs> hopefully, that banks, find, hopefully that bank's out of business. It is. Okay, good. It, is. it got bought by somebody. It, I'm not going to tell now. you which one. Yeah, don't say who. <laughs> I'm not going to say yeah. who. <laughs> you find a wallet on the ground. Do you, do, the, do you return it full, and do you do the work to return it? So I'm guessing, Leslie, you would take the money no, out it and return depend- it? Now I wouldn't. Back in the day, I'm taking some of the money. Right. Because I was broke. I would have took some of the money or either all of it and been like, here's your wallet. Because they would be more happy to have their driver's license and your credit cards mm-hmm. and shit. Now, yeah. if they caught me in the state when we was taking credit cards, just forget about the wallet. <laughs> Fortunate. I would re- I would have returned it. I don't know if I, I but I wouldn't have wanted to like go get like an envelope and yeah, mail yeah, it. That, that would have yeah. been a lot. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. I was if it, it was like at a store, I would have been like, hey, somebody dropped their wallet right. and handed it off to somebody. Okay, but see, because I I hear these stories like, oh, money bag found outside. Oh, what? Oh, I'm taking yeah, a stack out of that well, bag. Well, if I found like a, I found like a twenty or a hundred on the ground before. Twenty, a hundred. You know, I take That's that. Small, small change. Because no one's around. Fuck that shit. Uh, um, money my bag, wife I'm found the wallet down, uh, not too far away where the person lived. Looks at the wallet. Looks at the address. Can walk there. So she takes a little walk. Goes over to Brownstone on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Knocks on the door. Lady comes to the door. Yes, is this where? The guy says the guy's name and the wife goes, yeah, like she thinks they're that, fucking. Yep. Mm. So she goes one second. Uh-oh. Right. And then. Right. They, they both come back and she, he's like, yeah, it's like I found your wallet. And then the two of them, of course, are like, oh, I dropped. It. Oh, you dropped it again. She's yelling at him for dropping it again. Whatever. Apparently, this is not the first time. Let me offer you a bottle of wine. And my wife's like, no, thank you very much. And she just returned it. But probably started a sweet marital fight. And wait a minute, the wife uh, said he... no to the bottle of wine, or Gina said no to the bottle of wine. Gina said no to the bottle oh, okay, of wine. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I but said no yeah, too. this lady thought his the well, husband was fucking, and this first is the of all, wife come. This tell is the, Gina, the mistress coming. Tell Gina first of all, that. you fucking live in New York. I don't know what the fuck is she thinking that this could be a whole trap. She could took that wallet back and that motherfucker snatched her inside because mm-hmm. that could have been a trap. Tell her never to do that again. Tell her to send the shit in the mailbox. Put it in the mailbox. Put it in the fucking mailbox. Mailbox. Yeah. The fuck? All right. And tell her I'm going to whoop her motherfucking ass for doing that dumb shit. And goody two shoes can get your ass kidnapped. These motherfuckers out here ain't shit. They putting dirty <laughs> tissues and pictures, fucking thing and drugging hoes. Oh no. People people dra- t- you know how many you know Sonny, right? So you know my 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 bodyguard Sonny, right? Yes. You know his oh, brother well, his brother works in trafficking. Oh, you would yeah. not believe the shit that they're doing now. Really? No, it's going up, and now they're coming after regular bitches. Really? They're not just going for distraught bitches no more. They're going for mm. bitches that go to Costco. Oh my God. Jeez. Watch your back. Watch your back. What is this, Venezuela? No, it's, yeah, well, America sucks. That's what it feels like. All right, let's do two more. You're trying on clothes in a store. While you're trying on the clothes, you accidentally rip one. Do you tell the salesperson? No. <laughs> Look at Leslie. No, I'm sure I ripped a few Lenny, clothes. Lenny, if you fucking do, I swear, I fucking, you a nerd. You a nerd, bitch Lenny. ass mother. Lenny, I will put that shit back on the hanger like a motherfucker. Are Lenny. you serious? He's like, ooh, this is You know how many Lenny. times women tear shit? Yeah, you gotta just then, put that yeah. back. You know what I thought about, too? Why do we try on clothes? Are we fucking stupid? That's exactly how you catch crabs. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> I never so thought about that. What the fuck are we thinking the about? Like, you're supposed to wash that shit. Before, and we just go in the store, buy clothes, and then take yeah. them home and put them on. Crouch to we crouch. just don't fucking wash them? Crouch it. I, my, my hair, my, my uh, housekeeper. What are you going to do? Never, I'm going to wash it and bring no, it back? I it never, fit? No, I never realized this because my housekeeper, I got some new clothes. And she was like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to hang them in the clothes. She was like, can I wash them first? It came from fucking, you know, and I was like. I never I didn't thought even about fucking it. thought about that. Yeah. She was like, "You think they put it? A hand had to put it in the package." I was like, "Oh wow, that's a good housekeeper. That's a fucking good housekeeper." Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, the answer is no. Yeah, no, got yeah. it. Would All you right, know, Lenny? One. Would you tell the? Um, probably not. 
Yeah. Oh, Lenny living Lenny, on the edge. Probably Lenny, you so probably not. Lenny's living, living on the, the edge. Lenny. That's, That's for sure. You're I'm so nerd. honest. Nerd. This fortune. Your beloved dog, Biggie, in this oh. case. First of all, I, I heard a lot a about Biggie. Dog. I wouldn't yeah. have a dog. First Let's of all. say Biggie is dying. You can <gasps> save it for one more year by hitting a button. The button will kill a random stranger. Would you do it? Oh, no. That is... <laughs> That's it's biggie. Hard. I'm so tired of people and they fucking animals. Oh my listen, god! I don't, listen, I don't, let me explain I, something. I love to biggie, you. but I don't if you say. kill if you kill a fucking human for a yeah. fucking animal, your ass need to be fucking popped. I was like, I don't. And, and let me explain something <laughs> to you. And I, I know there's gonna be Peter motherfuckers all of that. Listen, we're gonna eat all of these pets. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we're eating all these pets. So you guys go ahead and nurture the motherfuckers. Go ahead and feed them well. Don't eat my all dog. of that. But when the end of the fucking meat shit, when we get tired of the empty possible meat because we're going to stop <laughs> eating that and shit because we're going to stop no we're going to eat uh, all of the pets <laughs> oh no i'm sick of this have you Wait, not seen a movie it? have you not seen solving green solving green, solving green yeah, or soylent. either soil it solving what the fuck ever you know what the fuck <laughs> i was talking about or the or or the eli movie that denzel washington was in i'm telling you right now he was eating rat you think he wouldn't have ate that little precious puppy Puppet? So no, <laughs> that precious puppet. <laughs> we gonna eat all of your pets, and, and I, know you I know you love your dog. I know you love your dog. We gonna dog, love it too. We gonna kill. love it over I, some goddamn it was, some rice and beans, human. bitch. What if it was a random congressman or senator? Oh, that's simple. Oh, wait a minute. Did I push the button and I kill a random con? Not yeah, a. It can't be random. Dog. I don't want to kill I, anybody. I. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie just gave me the stink eye. Listen, listen. Ex <laughs> let me explain something to you. The job that's the perfect job for me is the executor. Because I swear to God, I'm not going to give a fizz up. Oh, wow. Just flipping I'm, that I'm like Robin Harris. I do them two at a time, Dang, son. Dang, girl. Who? Who? You want to act crazy? I'm crazy, too. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> and I do it Judge without the mask. I want you to see my fucking face. No, oh, yeah. Look at my face as I pump your motothucking ass with death. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yes, yeah, shush, shush. Go to daddy. Go to go to heaven now. Go oh to my heaven. gosh. Or hell. It's violent. It's getting it's violent, violent around here. They need me. They need me in this country. Uh, I, would sorry, have have I would have public hangings. I would have public hangings. Does this mean that I Leslie? Why, yeah, you need to have a public. You hang a motherfucker. You gonna stop doing some shit? I think Leslie has yeah. one scruples. Right? <laughs> what one? I want scruples. Because you have scruples. Uh, she has no scruples. Oh, you she have no scruples. I don't even know how to spell no that, so fuck off. So you have no scruples. That's, Does it have a U or no. I in it? What, what's the third one? Did you have another one that's, after that? What, no, that's it. That was oh. about five, four or five of them. The third one. Okay. <sighs> Leslie, that game we know easy. where you stand. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Fortune, I thank have no you fucks again. to give. Thank you guys. For <laughs> Did you have fun? In. I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to check out our latest comedy special, Good Fortune, right yes! now on Netflix. Follow her on yeah, Instagram, yeah, yeah. Twitter, for, at Fortune Fun. And I got a tour. Oh. I got a tour that's coming. See me live. Beamster. And if yeah, you think that her, her name, and do you think her name should be Deborah? Deborah. You should hit me. Is uh, Kate and Blue folk going with you on this one? Uh, she'll probably do some dates. Yeah. Sweetheart. She's very funny. Kate yeah. who? You Caitlin Palufo. Gal. She's really funny. Lipper who? Caitlin New York Palufo. Comic. New York comic. Okay. You'd like her. Very would funny. I, would you I? Because I don't like no fucking body. You would like no, her. No, you'd like her. Trust me. Yeah. Fortune, thanks again. Thank you, guys. All right. We'll be right Bye, back Lenny. with the fuckery of the week. It's time for the fuckery of the week. Fuckery <laughs> of the week. <laughs> Leslie, you go first this week. Okay, okay. Well, my fuckery of the week, I don't know if it's a fuckery of the week or like a vent. So vent, that's what this means, right? Fuckery of the week is like the vent, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like okay. your rant. Like mm -hmm. I'm rant. Okay, so I'm finna rant. Okay, so I want to let everybody know that Leslie Jones is a human. <laughs> let me just, let me say that just again. Just in. Just, just in, people. <laughs> Leslie Jones is actually... A human being. Dun, 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 dun. So when I first started comedy, I wanted to be like Whoopi Goldberg. I wanted to be like Madonna. I wanted to, I wanted to have one name. So I used to just go by Leslie. So I would be like, even my email said just Leslie. Just Leslie 2000. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted people just to call me Leslie. That's, that literally was my whole thing. Just Leslie. I'm like the next Whoopi, but my name is Leslie. I would tell people, people would be like, what you want to be like? And I'd be like, I want to be Whoopi, but I want to be Leslie. So it's going to be Leslie, right? So I remember 
Tommy, and I hope, I don't know if Tommy listened to my podcast. Anyway, that was a sidebar. You know how I do that. But anyway, <clears throat> Tommy goes, uh, I want to put you up in the original room because I was killing. I was killing it, Lenny. And he was like, I'm going to put you up in the, living room, in the original room and I'm going to put your name on, this, on the sign. And he was like, what's your last name? Because I've never heard you say your last name. I said, yeah, because I just go by Leslie. And he was like, yeah, what's your name? What's your last name? And I was like, Leslie. That's that's what I go by. Everybody knows. Just Leslie. That's what I go by. Like, I'm like Whoopi. And he was like, first of all, I was like, Whoopi, like Madonna. He was like, first of all, you're not fucking Madonna. <laughs> okay, y'all. Just like get get that shit out your head. He was like, and Whoopi has a last name. It's on our wall. It's Whoopi Goldberg. And just in case you see it. <laughs> so you're not fucking whoopy either. And I was like, listen, Tommy, I'm not going to argue with you, dude. My name is fucking Leslie. Just go by Leslie. He was like, I'm not going to put you on the fucking marquee as Leslie. So you can fucking forget it. I just won't put you on there and I'll just put you on the show. So unless you don't want your fucking name up there, what the fuck is your last name, Leslie? What is it? He said, is it ugly or something? I was like, it's just Jones. And he was like, Leslie Jones. And him saying it, I was like, oh, shit, that's a thing. He was like, yeah. He said, you're now famous. He said, you're famous now. And I wasn't famous yet. It still took a little while for me to get famous after that. But he was like, you're famous. He was like, your hairstyle, I had just changed to the Mohawk. He said, your hairstyle, everything now is a whole package. Your whole package now. You're Leslie Jones. Now, in that day, when he said that, I didn't realize that it really was going to become a thing. That Leslie Jones, when people say my name, when people walk up to me, people don't say Leslie. People say Leslie Jones like it's one name. Leslie yeah. Jones, Leslie Jones, Leslie Jones. So, so much to I started realizing that I don't think that people actually think Leslie Jones is a human as much as a thing, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. Like... Yeah. um. Like Bugs Bunny or like the Super Bowl. or Do you get what I'm saying? It's like an object right. instead of right. so whenever I walk in somewhere or whenever somebody sees me in person or whatever, it's like, oh, shit, she actually exists. And then they they go into this, you know, I need to tell you everything, right? <laughs> so So I say this because... Before I was famous, I was a motherfucker. <laughs> like, not not mean or anything. My parents had passed we six months within each other. Then my brother died. I was just all about business. So I wasn't the type of comic that would come in and play around and shit. You know, I did after the sets. After the sets, I would go and smoke and do whatever, whatever. But I was very serious about my set. People didn't really fuck with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? People didn't really, like, fuck, me, fuck with me because they were scared. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people were scared of me because I was that motherfucker. Like, I, man, it was so funny because somebody reminded me the other night, yo, you don't remember beating a dude with your shoe out here in the front? And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that happened. Yeah, I remember that. Like, And they was like, yeah, bitch, like, you've beat a couple of people's ass. <laughs> like... And I was like, it's not on purpose. Anybody's ass I beat needed to have their ass whooped. So, so the reason I'm saying that is because people forget. People forget that you're actually a human. People forget that you're actually a name. People forget. So when I made it, when I made it, I really did become a little softer. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I don't have to, you know, do this and this. And then people forget and they challenge you. They challenge you. They, they forget that you're actually a human. And the people that used to be in my life and, and that's known me from a comic, y'all forget that Leslie Jones is crazy than a motherfucker. And then, <laughs> and then you try me. You, you fuck around and you find out. So it's always surprising to me when people... When people, like, I used to wonder why people would describe me like this. Like, like we was just talking about this. You remember Bobby Lee, the little cut I, that I sent you yeah. that Bobby Lee was like, oh, everybody was saying Leslie was looking for you. And I thought immediately I got scared. And I was just like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I understand that, that you know, that that's what I used to give. Mentality. But yeah. these little young motherfuckers, like, right now I, found, I sound like an OG gangster. Because, you know, the OG right. gangsters used to fight. They used to just, the most that they would do is throw bottles. But these little young right. motherfuckers now is just shooting motherfuckers, right? right? That's what I feel like. I feel like, like oh, these little young motherfuckers 
is like yoking, trying to yoke up on me. So it's like when you get that real ass whooping from a motherfucker like me, it's a big fucking thing because you haven't realized that Leslie Jones is a human. You guys try to be famous, you TikTok motherfuckers, you Instagram motherfuckers, you Twitter, y'all try, y'all want fame so bad. I have, I've talked to people who really think that they're famous and you go, you're not famous. You're not famous. And you really actually can't handle fame. Cause you know, I, I, I don't know how many fucking questions I get on TikTok and Instagram and how can I be this? How can I be that? You can't even handle TikTok. You, you can't even handle Instagram. You, you're crying if somebody, like if, in other words, uh, no one could have went through what I went through on the Ghostbusters thing and not have had to check themselves into a fucking mental hospital. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? They would have quit immediately. So I don't know if this is a fuckery of the week or if this is more of just a, don't fuck around and find out that Leslie Jones is a human. Don't get on the other side of finding that out because you will be unpleasantly surprised. So I don't even know what to do with that. That was good. I mean, um, so basically what they see and what they will experience in reality are two different things. Two different things. You don't really understand. Yeah, fame. You really don't understand fame. You really don't understand. And it is addictive. Let me, I'll just add this on and I'll be done. You motherfuckers that crave this fame shit, you need to be mentally adept to handle fame because it will fuck you in the ass. It will turn you around and it will fuck you in the ass. It is not, it's like making a deal with the devil. And if you don't come in full knowledge, it will fuck you. Do you understand? Stop fucking around thinking that fame is not a drug. Stop fucking around. You wouldn't just do cocaine. I mean, some of you would. You wouldn't just smoke meth or crack. <laughs> fucking fame is the same shit. You get a hit of that shit and it's addictive. And it makes you do dumb shit to stay in, in front of the camera. I like the addendum was, you're going to get fucked in the ass. You're going to get <laughs> fucked in the ass. You're going to get fucked in the ass. It's like, because, because like. I just want to say this one more thing. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. But this is my thing, though, Lenny, is that people feed off this hate shit. And they that shock shit because it's woo yes. that gets them hits and all that. You will die in your sleep. Do you understand? Yes. Stop all the Love evil it. shit. These TikTokers don't know what that is. They, they don't know. You, they it, you remember Chris Rock used to do this joke about how the reality stars think that they're like real stars. He said, that's yeah. just like a chiropractor thinking they're just like a doctor. Like, I almost lost my own tape. But no, you didn't, motherfucker. You was doing an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not cutting motherfuckers open. So you be yep. wanting to tell motherfucking like these new jacks, hey, Listen, you worry too much about what the fuck I'm doing instead of worrying about your set. Everybody, you wonder how I'm able to come to a club and spit off 25 minutes that's fucking fire? Hey, bitch, I walk through fire. I walk through fire to get that good. So worry about your journey instead of worrying about my motherfucking position because you can't get it. And if you come forward, I'm going to take you out. Yeah. That was a little bit of sunny right there. That was good. Mm -hmm. Um, Mine this week, uh, I want to talk about Kyrie Irving. The Brooklyn Nets banned Kyrie Irving for at least five games without pay on Thursday after he refused to say that he had no anti-Semitic beliefs. Mm. That's a rough one. The the Brooklyn Nets guard faced immediately immediate backlash after posting about an anti-Semitic documentary on both Twitter and Instagram last week. Nets owner George Tsai said he was disappointed that Kyrie appears to support a film based on a book full of anti-Semitic disinformation. The NBA put out a statement denouncing all hate speech of any kind, though not mentioning Irving by name. Listen, Kyrie Irving, poor guy. Hmm. Height of his career, all he had to do was play basketball and make, what, 30 to $40 million a year. But apparently that was too hard. He just can't get along with people or his teammates. This clown wasn't allowed to play last year and ruin the season because he wasn't vaxxed, wouldn't get vaxxed, and didn't care. So to hell with everybody. He couldn't get along with arguably the best, greatest player of all time, LeBron, in Cleveland, and he was run out of Boston for being a petulant asshole. But wait, 
Hold on, he also thinks the world is flat. And now it comes out that he's an anti-Semite. I'm shocked, Leslie! I'm shocked! The funny part is, he did share his views in the middle... Did he share his views in the middle of red state Trump country in Texas? No, he did it in Brooklyn, New York. Home of the Semites! Come on, man. Let's just face it. Some people are weird, some people are quirky, and some people just suck. They can be admired for playing basketball or compelling, but sometimes they're just con men and need to be stopped, and some people need to be silenced. Kyrie isn't the only one. Kanye, Trump, Marjorie Taylor Greene, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's like Leslie was talking about. They, they're pseudo-famous. They're idiots. Enough. Stop talking about them. Stop talking to them. Stop paying them. Stop letting them represent you in the world. Stop letting play for your team. Stop televising them. Just let them go away. Make them irrelevant. Yeah, I just, I just, and I know pe- black people always be like on that, oh, they're coming after the black man, they're coming after this and whoop, whoop, whoop. Listen, I, listen, I, hey, I'm the first one to say, hey, I do believe that black men get it much harder and, and they're going after. But I always wonder why you put yourself in that position without a very strong platform to, does that make sense? Like, my thing is, if you're going to say that the world is flat, if you're going to say you don't believe in science, then you need to be walking around butt naked. Like, back your shit all the way up because clothes is science. Basketball, matter of fact, you probably need to learn some science and some physics for your fucking jump shot so then you can make it. Because do you understand what I'm saying? Like, whenever you're not, like, really, like, it's it's, it's like if hypocrisy was a person, you know? I mean, I understand that you have these beliefs, but you're not really, like— well, okay, is all of your is all of your clothes made out of uh, biodegradable substance? So it can it's, it's every like you don't believe in science, then why are you driving a car? Why are you in a car? You should walk everywhere. Then I mean, if you don't believe in science, then why are you still eating food and drinking water? All of that science. Do you understand? And and I know that sounds ridiculous. That sounds ridiculous. What I'm saying. So does what you're saying. Because if we didn't have science, we didn't have a how you think you're able to walk around without catching diphtheria or fucking polio on the wall. Like, stop. I, I'm, I'm so tired of these philosophers and these these people are not really looking at what the fuck the world really is made out of. Like, so God couldn't have sinned knowledge so we won't die. Like he gave knowledge of doctoring to people so he can that. God works through everyone. Like, what are you doing? It makes me mad because then if you was if you were standing on something that made some sense that helped people, that's different. But you're making people miserable with your beliefs. You're making people miserable like Kanye coming out. Oh, he's a genius. He's playing. No, he's not playing chess. Chess. It means that you move in three or four steps ahead to cover the move that you're making now. That's chess. Do you understand? You not you not you, you you coming out blurting out bullshit is not playing chess. You just being fucking offensive. You're not being helpful or anything. If you had platform, if Kanye was saying anything that I thought made some sense, I would have his fucking back. But but the, like at this point now, like you when you say stupid shit, if you're just gonna believe stupid shit, then I'm gonna listen. Facts is facts. Hey motherfucker. Everything you have is science. You just sat in a chair. Science. Uh, you're walking. Gravity. Science. So, 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 what's what's keeping you from not floating in the air? Science, bitch. Water. Science. Soda. Science. Gatorade. Science. Uh, 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 fucking uh, what's the motherfucker that taped your ankles? Science. You you got a knee surgery? Science. You opening up your door, you looking out the window, science, science, science. So go fuck yourself. Like if you don't believe in science, then go live in a cave, butt naked, and starving because you can't eat no food because of science, unless you unless you're growing it yourself. But then again, you have to use science. <laughs> so I, I, it's amazing to me when people have these beliefs and actually don't really like there's people, yo, Lenny, there's people who talk the talk. And walk the walk. I've seen it. Like there's a whole guy that has his that for 25 years has built an island off of just all natural shit. Go live there. But let me tell you something. He uses science. Yeah, the the point is these guys have a 
a little bit of a platform because it's sort of like what you were saying. They they have some sort of you know fame in some way. It doesn't make them smarter. It doesn't make them you know. In fact, they're har- more harmful than good. So there's a million basketball players. You don't. We don't need this one. There's a million. Uh, politicians you don't need a couple of them you know there's a million rappers this one is not if they go away nobody gives a shit it's know? just and it's probably for the greater good that they're not around that's the point i, I mean, just don't but, understand <clears throat> i don't excuse me i keep i don't know what fucking, we i don't crazy. understand it i just i just fucking i just don't get humans like i'm this guy yeah. was standing there and he was uh i saw this film today and the guy said to him he was interviewing one of the trump guys and he goes he goes so abortion you think abortion is murder and it goes yeah absolutely absolutely abortion is murder then the guy goes oh well then you think herschel walker is a murderer and the guy goes oh no 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 i mean you know if it's a premeditated no 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 he then he tries to bring reverend warnock you go Yo, you guys are arguing on an empty foundation because, like, this is facts. So he literally did not waver you. He didn't uh, try to push you into He asked you a simple question. Do you think abortion is murder? Yes. So then if you think abortion, this is what he said to him. He said, then if you think abortion is murderer and Herschel did, that's a murderer. He and this guy, it was like if hypocrisy was a person. You just go. Yeah, I mean they they can't. What's wrong with them? Have, it's don't they, they hear themselves? No, that's it. They don't hear themselves. Like if I that's was it. to see that film of myself later, I'd be like, oh wow, I sound like a fucking idiot. An idiot. Yeah, because that's what fucking idiots. They have no self awareness. And can we mention today is voting day? Can we say that on the show? Well, we're, we'll be past it. This will be in December. Yeah, so. but uh, we can say it though, right? This is the day that people are voting. Can we say that? Yeah, but it's already passed. I mean, you could say it, but yeah, it's already passed. We don't like we we'd have to predict what. <laughs> Oh, I don't no, know. I would say, no, I would say, this is when we're filming. Like we go, we're filming actually today on election day. Yeah, we're filming on election day, and and uh, we don't know who won. Um, the election results aren't in yet. New York, uh, Dan is telling me Kathy Hochul has been has won. So that's Who's good. That? Is that for, good? Okay. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's it's good for um, you know, more. She's more liberal than the other side. The other guy was a red, pure red guy. He he was gonna kill abortion in New York State. So that. It's way better as far as I'm concerned. Should we talk about um, me wanting to host the Oscars and they pick Jimmy Kimmel? Is that official? No, it's just the current photo. Oh. Herschel Walker's winning by ever so slightly in Georgia. <sighs> That's the current total. It's not done yet. It's very close. The, yeah, it's because so close, the mail they're going to have a runoff. The, the mail in They're also, so. you have to win by a certain amount, and Georgia's got a weird thing. You have to win by a certain amount in Georgia, or they run it off. So those guys, once again, are going to have a special election. And we had this the last time, Leslie, with uh, Ossoff. Well, Ossoff. So but I don't know, Lenny, if the mail in balance ain't in yet. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. The I mean, melon balance like I said, may be overwhelming. Popular. I think the melon balance is going to be overwhelming, I think. We'll find I out. I mean, because, listen, I'm going to say this right now. You guys vote Herschel Walker in. <clears throat> I'm done. I'm done with you, motherfucker. I have no real respect for you, and you're going to get crushed every fucking week. I have no real respect. I'm going to come to your state just to fucking, <laughs> just to badger the fuck out of you, and I swear to God, I'm gonna make a fucking ass out of all of you, motherfuckers. Well, that's your town, Atlanta. You love it down there. I fucking hate Atlanta. If you, especially if you motherfuckers vote in Herschel Walker, I swear to God, you're dead to me. You are fu- and you have one of the best shrimp places there in life. <laughs> You'll be dead to me. Leslie will never eat shrimp again. No, I will eat uh, shrimp, but just maybe. not there. Maybe That's we'll the end of the fly. show. Thank you for listening to The Fuckery. Just remember, any photos or links to this episode will be posted at Fuckery Podcast on Instagram. That's spelled F-C-K-R-Y Podcast on all platforms. Send us your listener questions to fuckerypodcast at gmail.com, F-C-K-R-Y Podcast at gmail.com. Letters and voice memos are welcome. If you want to follow me, I'm at Lenny Marcus NYC on all platforms. And Leslie is at, at LesDog, that's L-E-S-D-O-G, with three Gs on Twitter, four Gs on Instagram, and five Gs on TikTok. Cause I'm a motherfucking G, homie. 
The Fuckery with Leslie Jones and Lenny Marcus was created and stars Leslie Jones and Lenny Marcus. The show is produced by Judith Cargbo and our audio engineer in Los Angeles is Abby Aguilar. Our New York City audio engineer and board operator is Dan Spaventa. Music for this show is done by Marina Pais. This is an Earwolf production. Because the wolf has ears. Awesome. Oh, uh, now Leslie gets her dessert. <laughs> I see all of these do not use, do not go fuck yourself. These are fake Viagra's is gonna make your dick hard for cheap. <laughs>